My name is Elvin Harms. I've been a member of the Accelerator Division since 1979, and I'm here to tell you a little dog story. Back in the days of when the Tevatron was being installed, we had a lot of contractors coming and going doing various things. And uh, one particular day, around the entire accelerator complex, there was a, a telecommunication system called the Yellowphone system. And you could, you could push a button and talk from one place to the other without using a telephone. Well, one day, coming over virtually every Yellowphone, you could hear a dog barking, just this you know, in the faint background, but a very insistent dog barking through most of the day. And had a lot of people scratching their heads. What the heck is going on here? I can recall my boss, you know, just very confused. And, you know, why would we hear a dog barking? Was this some sort of weird crosstalk or what? Ended up doing a survey of all the Tevatron, all the main ring service buildings, looking around for this other places where the yellow phones were connected. And finally, I think sometime in the middle of the afternoon, we found this dog, a literal dog, in one of the Tevatron service buildings. Very lonely, very alone. And it's like, well, whose dog is this? Did a little investigation and finally it was determined that one of our contractors who was terminating cables for the Tevatron had to bring their dog to work for whatever reason, decided that one of the one of the main ring service buildings, the Tevatron enclosures, was a was a nice place to keep the dog, figured it would be out of the way, nobody would notice, not realizing that uh, the dog's loneliness would be amplified all over the site by means of these yellow phones. Dog was okay, all ends well, but uh, yeah, one of those funny stories that went along during the days of Tevatron installation.